What is happening interwebs? Andy McCabe here with Claims Delegates. Hey, since I got a question in my YouTube feed, I thought I'd answer it right here. The other day I did uh, a Matterport scan of a property and there was a couple rooms that I physically couldn't get myself into. And not just because I'm six foot seven, 265 pounds. They were just full of stuff. So in the middle of the scan, I turned from my Matterport Pro 2 camera, which is a great camera, to my uh, Ricoh Theta V, which is this sucker. This sucker right here. And the question posed was, how did it turn out? Uh, and uh, were you able to uh, get an ESX sketch for, uh, for Xactimate out of it? Well, to answer the first question, yes, it's beautiful. Let me show you the differences, though. There are subtle differences if you know what you're looking at. Let's just hop in here. First off, from the top, you really can't tell. You can't tell which room I was in except for this one, probably. And I'll show you how physically I would not, I couldn't even get in this room, let alone, and here's the bathroom. I couldn't get there. I would have had to unpack this entire room to get in there. But look. I stuck the, there's my arm, where's my arm? It's right, it's, oh, there it is. Another one, I stuck it a little bit further in. Yep, there's my arm holding a tripod, tripod. but hey, see, it turned out well. But uh, what I want you to do is look at, look at the picture quality. It is a little bit grainy. The Ricoh Theta V says it's a 4K camera. Uh, Maybe it's the lens that doesn't allow enough in, but it is it's just kind of blurry. You can see you can see that. And that is in contrast to let's just get someplace in here. Let's just go in the kitchen. You can see this was taken with the Pro 2. And even the stuff, you can see just the clarity there. There, there is a, there is definitely uh, an enhanced clarity, and you can zoom in. I mean, look at that. You just can't get that level of detail from the Theta V. Uh, you just can't. But let's go back in here. You can tell there's a graininess. These scans right here uh, is where, so you can see that lamp. It even looks clear from here because this is taken with the Pro 2. It's this far away, but then you, we come in here. And you can see it just kind of takes this, it look, takes on a fuzzy look. Uh, even we're this close and it still looks fuzzy. Uh, so it's just not detailed. But, uh, so that answers the first question, how did it look? Uh, second question is, can I get an ESX sketch out of Matterport? And technically, if you order it from Matterport, no. No, you cannot. Um, they want you to use a Pro 2 camera because a Pro 2 camera, frankly, has lasers right um and and they they want those accurate measurements and i don't know the ins and outs of of why uh exactly but i do my own i, I do my own sketches from these matterport scans and i'm about to show you exactly how first thing i do is set a scale i'm going to come in here and grab my measure tool i'm going to start a measurement and i'm going to put one I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to start there. And I'd like to go 20 feet. Oh, sometimes it... Oh, I can watch that dial up top. Okay, let's just go out. Da, 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 da. Try to keep it straight. There it was. 20. Boom. And check. So there's my... There's my 20 foot mark. And... The next thing I do is a screenshot. Come here. Oh, I got my whole screenshot. Here it is. I should probably crop this down a little bit, otherwise Xactimate's not gonna like it. So we'll go here. Come here. And I don't need the garage, so I'll just cut that off there. I am done. 
save it in my downloads, just call it screenshot JPEG, fine. Now, oh, I'm running too many things right now. My computer doesn't like it. I'm going to open Xactimate and be right back. All right, Xactimate's open. So you all should know how to do this, right? Import, underlay image. Okay, I don't know why this, this errors, whatever. I don't know why it's doing that. It'll be a moot point here come June when I switch over to X1, but here we go. We're gonna go downloads, bring that sucker in. It didn't even ask me to resize it. I make this really big and then I zoom in. Come on. Oh, try to zoom in. Oh, there. This is weird because I've got other stuff happening. Oh, I'm just going to zoom this in here. So I'd like to zoom in further, but I'm doing a video, so that will have to do. You mark the first. Try to keep it as straight as you can. Boom, and there is my 20 feet. Hit OK, and there it is. Look, I'm going to go in here and put this living room in here. Boom. All right, I'm not going to get fancy. This is not a sketching video. This is just for fun. But then I can always come back here because I got to check my ceiling heights, right? And since this is a Matterport sketch, I can do that from right here. This is a peaked ceiling starting there ish. Once again, I'm doing a video, so I'm just rushing. Is it planted on the floor? It looks like it. Boom. Ceiling height 12 foot 6. That makes sense. Uh, low height is... Da -da 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 -da. 9 footer. That makes sense too. And about the middle of the room. Distance to peak. Whatever that room width is. Uh, but then... Just to answer any lingering questions about the theta v, can I go into those rooms and measure something? Mm -hmm. Let's see, what do we want to measure in here? What can we get to that's not covered? Well, we can measure that headboard, we can measure that picture, pretend it's a window. Here, here, here. That's about how big that is. Boom. All right. Ceiling height should be nine, but I can't see the floor. <laughs> I can't get to the floor. Uh, you know, you can measure anything. It's coming here. Let's measure the inside door width. All right. Two foot five. Okay. Well, I hope that settles that. You can use a Pro 2 and a 360 camera. I just happen to be using a Theta V. You could use whatever else you want, probably. Don't quote me on that because I haven't used anything else but that. On the same scan. You can do it on the same scan and uh, it's still usable. And you don't need to rely on Matterport to get your ESX scan. If you want to send us your Matterport scan and have us send you an ESX file with a sketch perfectly done, we can do that. Send it to andy at claimsdelegates.com. We'll get you set up. All right, see you guys.